Welcome back. This is Jeffrey Tiefer Tiller. Thank you for joining our channel for this video, Service Management Leadership. Today's brief video is on a topic that's more rhetorical, but I mean this for thought process. And it's specific for leaders and those that want to understand the service management processes better. Every service management leader is caught in a conundrum of, of sorts that how do I maintain governance without too much bureaucracy, right? I mean, we look at our federal government here in the U.S. and we think, man, there's a lot of bureaucracy. And some people think, hey, there's plenty of government. But in the ITSM world, where we are playing a governance function, so change management is governance, right? It's a control, it's a control process. Same with configuration. Even incident management is governance in a way because putting those, recording those incidents, putting them into an ITSM tool is governance because it's understanding what are we doing. And so I wanted a brief video of just thinking out loud and helping you think out loud where you want plenty of governance. You want ample governance. But each company, each organization, each corporation has a line to where too much governance becomes bureaucracy. Let me give you an example. Do we record every change that is made to, made to metadata or content? Well, it depends. It depends on which company. Some, they would be like, oh no, that's ridiculous. Others are like, that content is very important. We need to make sure we regulate the approvals and authorizations for those to go into production. How about, uh, you know, these go on all the time in terms of change management, configuration management. How about how granular we make the CNDB? That is a big thought process in terms of bureaucracy versus governance. Here's the main point. Governance has a cost. That cost has to be worth it, right? And so, Governance has to say, we provide value because we are limiting unplanned outages, we're mitigating risk, we're doing something to adding value. Now that adding value has a limit if it costs more than it adds. That's where it becomes bureaucracy. And every company, every corporation, every agency, every entity has that line. And it's different. And that's why I want to encourage you to Consider where is it and it may be a different spot for each process That is okay as long as you know where that value line exists How you know it and this is a rhetorical question for you to think about When you explain your value principle for that process, it has to include governance That's how you know so when you say change management is to control the environment to to have, I'm going to go def, ITIL definition, to make a way for high rates of change into production environment to limit risk. Sounds like the ITIL version. So when we say that, how do we govern that in a way that it doesn't provide too much bureaucracy? Because change management is all about limiting risk. How do we provide the governance without worrying about the changes that don't provide risk, right? I mean, that's basically what we're saying, because that, that governance has a cost. Thank you for joining us. I will have more videos in the near future. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller, Service Management Leadership, and I thank you for joining us. Please like or share this video, subscribe to the channel, give me some feedback. I always enjoy hearing from um, my viewers. Have a great day. Thank you.